awesome, man. So after getting out yesterday to do a little bit of testing, I'm coming into today feeling a lot more confident on the giant money shot X-Class rig. It is not easy to fly. At least it's not easy to fly super smooth. Like when you kind of get it off the throttle, like it kind of pushes up a little bit in order to keep that nice, consistent, you know, smooth paths. It's, it's really tricky to get it to fly exactly the way you want. So I'm really glad that we got some practice yesterday because going into the today would be a little scary to try to fly it smoothly and get shots of a Bugatti Chiron, which is an expensive car, very expensive car. I do not want to hit it with that drone. So uh, we're starting out the day. Um, it's uh, currently just before seven in the morning. We're getting in the car and we're driving all the way over to Austin, Texas. So really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be an awesome day. We're going to shoot the Bugatti in the morning and then in the afternoon we're going to go and shoot on a, a rally course. Um, some guys send in their cars through a rally course. It's, I mean, both of those things are going to be incredible. Both are going to be very challenging in their own way. Um, when the we only have four batteries, or well, we only have two sets of batteries for the big rig. So in the mean, when those are charging, I'll be flying the five inch with the GoPro, getting all sorts of awesome shots. So can't wait. Let's go get to it. We are in Jonestown, which is a little bit east of Austin, good old Texas. About to go visit uh, a friend who has a very, very nice Bugatti, and we're gonna chase it with a very large drone. Dude, the car's amazing. It's just a piece of artwork with a W16 in it. It's insane. They basically super glued two V8s together and slapped four turbos on the contraption, and, and they stuffed it into this car. It's just a piece of artwork. And it's gone. Oh yeah. Sweet <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, those turbos winding up. <laughs> oh, it feels good. so locked in because there's no body roll on it yeah. hardly at all so it just it feels like you're pointing and shooting like you just know exactly where oh yeah Just setting up the drone. Uh, there's a big straightaway here on a super, super quiet road, um, and we're gonna start with the straightaway, do some dive-ins, do some split S kinds of stuff, and just you know quarter panel chasing, um, and then we're gonna go find some curbs. It's gonna be awesome. We've got three guys all spotting, all paying attention to what's going on. We've, we're in the perfect airspace. It's it's the best spot for this possible. Okay. 
So for this first chase, I mean, you can see that I dive in and I ended up a little bit further behind it because I was trying to come in smooth. And then I started to move closer and closer, but you can see how close I'm getting to the left side. So I really started to try to push myself back into the middle. Ended up getting a little bit high. You can see the lenses above it. So I decided to pull out and then dive back in from the edge to, to like restart the shot and get two goes at it. You can almost see I hit the left side there. It's it's pretty tight down in there with like such a big drone, but I was thinking mostly about not hitting that Bugatti at the end because oh, oh, that would be that'd be a bad day. And then just you know again keep trying to just do those little roll ins, show the car, show the drone. All right, we just did shot number one, which was uh, straight down this long road. Uh, the Bugatti started at the bottom and flew all the way up. We did it both directions a little bit. Um, I mean, it went well. I was a little bit nervous on the sticks, if I'm going to be fully honest, but uh, kept the shakes out of it. Um, I had one little bit of a, I kind of had to hit the throttle and it, the nose dipped a little bit, so that kind of didn't help the shot, but uh, there's definitely going to be some usable moments in that for sure. Now we're going to go on to a spot that has a little bit more curve. On this series, we started from the bottom side of the road and worked our way up first. I was a little bit late on this shot because we it was hard to figure out exactly when he was going to come around the corner because we had a little bit of a blind corner that he was spotting for us. But, you know, going uphill I thought was a little bit easier because it makes the car above the camera, so it's easier to keep it low in frame. And then on the second try, I don't like to roll into the right as much as I like to roll into the left. So I kind of was a little bit late, but it ended up working really well because I was able to pick up some speed and really showcase how fast this thing can go. I'm probably going 70 here to catch up to him. And then I back off a little bit, catch up to the back of him, and then as soon as I can't go any further down the road, I just pull up and reveal what I think is like Travis back there. Again, roll in left, get right on him as he's going uphill. Uh, it doesn't really show it, but this hill is actually pretty freaking steep, so it was uh, really dramatic, like a dramatic road to be on. Um, just keeping him a shame. And then I think this was the best shot right here. Just big old roll in left, get right on his back quarter panel. I get him a little high in frame because right here on the left, right there, oh gosh, it was a little bit close. So I didn't quite keep the camera down, but I get it lower, 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 and then pull up, reveal the lake. Man, that could have gone any better. Uh, the drone was perfectly placed. The Chiron is perfectly looking great. And uh, everything was great, man. The scenery, you can't beat this. It's ideal. It's ideal. Funny shot, baby. Funny shot! Funny shot! Okay, in case it wasn't obvious, we are all done with the Bugatti shot one. Shooting awesome. We got some good stuff. We just reviewed the footage. I was pretty worried that it wasn't really going to turn out um, just because it's so hard to fly that thing super well and super smooth, uh, but like it's turning out awesome. Uh, so now we're transitioning over to uh, what's the place called? Rally Ready. Rally Ready, where uh, we're meeting up with a bunch of uh, rally drivers on a rally course and we're going to film them with the drone. I'm really looking forward to this one because we're going to get a lot more ambiance, like stuff's going to be kicked up, like we're going to have slow mo shooting, like it's going to be pretty freaking sweet. All right. Rally Ready. I'm ready for Rally. I don't know about you guys. Those cars look ready. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, this must have been the garage they were epoxying. If we're expecting you to come on upstairs, if not, we might be naked or shoot you. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right, so I think we found a spot where we can see the entire rally track yep. from line of sight. So we can dr drive the entire thing and fly the entire thing. And it's going to be awesome. Gonna be that, awesome. that berm at the end. Dude, Holy dude, cow, dude, here? if he's, yeah, if he's getting up on the wall, so like right here. Yeah, Alright, so we've got the perfect spot uh, to film. We're going to do some testing exactly. with the uh, five inch drone and then, uh, yeah, this is going to be, I can't, I just, I just want to fly. Yeah, I think so.
Okay, we can radio him. We had to run a little bit earlier than we thought. The guys that were there, the driver, had been on site since like 5 a.m. and he was just spent. Like they said something like, uh, <laughs> he almost crashed like six times. So they're like, ah, let's just call it. Let's play it on the safe side, which we were totally down for too. I mean, we wanted to go up one more time with the red set to like 240 FPS to get some like sick slow-mo of the car, you know, kicking up all the dirt. Um, but you know what, for, you know, the quads in one piece, or the octo is in one piece, the camera's in one piece, we're all in one piece, the cars are in one piece, that's, that's a good, successful Wednesday. So we're calling it there. We're driving, what, three hours back to yeah, Houston? about three hours back to Houston. I'm gonna nap the whole way, so <laughs> that's gonna be great. And uh, so thanks for coming on this adventure. See you tomorrow, stay flying.